This map only shows where the local town is. Well, then I guess you better find a local then, huh, bud? looks like a local. Maybe he'll help us out. Yeah, but we'll have to act the part. Yeah. Cue pirate stuff. What you want, then? He ain't a pirate from the look of ye. You scallywag, scurvy dog. You damn well better believe I'm a pirate. Gotta say, nailed it. Oh, you're a pirate, are ye? Might be you'll have to prove it. How you're gonna do that, then? I'll prove it by... by looting Phil's cave. Where is that, exactly? A fine idea, that. I do love me some looting. As for Phil's cave, it's just down the way. Good luck getting in, though. Oh, and some other sea dogs went down there to try to loot the place already. So you might have some competition. <clears throat> A poetry page wafts upon the wind nearby.
the scurvy adult heave hole are we supposed to get into this damn place? I have half a mind to keyhole that tricky wizard. What's that? Find that guy's certificate of non-evilness. Although I still have my doubts. So voices. I know, right? I'm not the one who made him sound super evil. You did. Maybe I wanted to see how prejudiced my players are. Huh? You ever think of that? I will admit that had not occurred to me. No. Yeah, you did. All right, fine. I'm a voicist. Is that what you want to hear? Hey, admitting it is the first step. Ugh, come on. That's pretty underwhelming. What? Were you expecting some sort of super spooky evil lair? Oh, uh, no. No, 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 no. Maybe. Anyway, let's just find that certificate. See? See? That looked super evil! Are you still going on about that? Huh. Well, I'll be damned. It's real. And that's Queen Butt Stallion's hoof print right there. I'd recognize it anywhere. See? Not evil. Anyway, we got what we came here for. Now we just have to talk our way into Scallywag Landing.
Well, smack me booty and call me Judy. You're back. No, uh -huh, so those other scallywags didn't kill you. Would have been a boat on that. They won't be killing anyone anymore because they're dead on account of me killing them. Well, well, killing pirates is the most pirate thing you can do. Suppose I can let you in. Can't recommend on you defending that crooked eye Phil, though. That freak's more evil than Malevatron the Unbenevolent. Her my name ain't Sir Finbreaker, which it is. I'll get the gate for you. Lead shot mined from the nine and half hells. Black powder ground from Blast Hummet's bile. But you should know you won't be getting to the jail so easy. Gates locked up tight on account of these creepy old totems Crook and I propped up around town. A very handsome guard up there ain't letting anyone through till him's dealt with. So, Bill put creepy totems around town? That sounds like it could be bad for our case. Then let's destroy the evidence. Death. <sighs> for once, I actually agree with you. Let's destroy some evidence. who needs your help getting revenge on his big jerk of a boss, who just happens to be up to something real evil-like. And everybody likes revenge and hates evil, right? Except for evil people, I guess. But screw them! Come from. I have a theory. Do you care to share with the rest of the class, Fret? No. Very helpful, thank you.
party. Come here. I confess, I be needing your help. You're just in time, my dear Lachance. Wind of my heart's sail has been captured. 
It's that thieving pirate lord, Long Bronzed Gilbert. I aim to run him through with a rusty cutlass, but alas, he wears the most potent protection, the chances plot armor. After Gilbert sweet talked his way onto our boat last night, he stole the chance away and vanished. Must have been using that sea sorcery that's so popular here on the island. Go talk with the local witch doctor. We'll have to fight fire with fire. Plot armor is precious booty. No man can die when wearing it, so the legends go. But somehow, Gilbert pried the armor off my chance. Unless he... No, he had to have used some magic devilry. The witch doctor's an old friend. Her magics helped me out of many a sea pickle. Which is like a sea cucumber, but even brinier. for a witch doctor, that you? Damned sea witches. That be she, but she be asleep, or in a trance, or a sleep trance. Find a way to wake her from her witchy slumbers. Wakey, wakey. Well, blow me down. That trance be deeper than a sunken semiotician. But have no fear. There's a cannon not far that you might commandeer. Sure to course! Welcome to Yes We Cannon, here for all your cannon needs. If you need something louder, we've got the powder. Uh, care to give it a blast, me lord? D? Oh, very quaint, don't you agree, me lordy? Yeah, sure. Uh, does it come in, you know, big kid sizes? I need something loud. You know, boom, boom. <laughs> oh, you just sorry, shots! The Lordy wants it louder! Bring her down below and swap her up with something what kicks proper! Let's show him what the Far Mountain Clan can do! At the ready! Well, if that's the biggest you've got, then that's fine, I suppose. But something tells me you can do better. But the dragon cannon is forbidden. Ever since it woke the dragons of the far mountain in the last age. Oh, is that all? Come on, then. Very well. Dragon cannon. Dragon cannon hoist! Right, you dogs. Raise hoy that elder boar from which all worldly sorrows were shot. Today. We rouse the hells themselves! That's it, that's exciting. Put your backs and do it, you sorry spineless as a god! Don't keep the customer waiting all day! <laughs> Just a moment more, I'm sure. Pull her up faster! The Lord is dying old age up here! I am so sorry, me lordy beard. Ready, me lordy. All right, I'm awake. Wait, uh, I'm awake. Ugh. Who woke me from my very death-like but definitely alive trance? Ugh, stupid cannons again! That's got to be the second loudest cannon I've ever heard. What's so bloody important that I couldn't get a little shut-eye? I need you to tell me how to destroy some plot armor. No need to know why. I'm trying to kill a guy wearing it. Yeah. Uh, whatever. Can you help? Destroy plot armor? Impossible! Unless you're a cunning witch doctor like myself. I can't destroy it per se. But the curse of true character could turn a crusty coward into a smaller creature. And the armor would fall right off. Well, then again, they might transform into a vicious giant monster. 
Uh, depending on their character. Either or. Oh, great. So, uh, how do we do this wee slash giant beastie curse thing, then? Tell you what. Meet me at the Ravenous Caverns, and we'll put the curse together. Together! It's a good thing you arrived when you did. A coven of coils showed up at my hut the other day. Claiming my magic cauldron for their own. We'll reclaim it soon, but we need the proper ingredients first. Sea hags! Comrades and concubines of long bronzed Gilbert they are! Bones! So it's you who wants to destroy some plot armor. Didn't Lachance own some? I thought you two were flotsam bound together in a foamy sea of love. Aye, we are now and always will be. But Lachance has been kidnapped, and his plot armor sits on the burly chest of long bronzed Gilbert. I won't rest till my love is in my arms and my blade in Gilbert's gut. the materials for the curse in this hex caster. Now we'll need to collect curse essence from some sorry cursed souls. Head to the grave of the bone-picked pirates. They made the mistake of spending a night in these haunted caves, only to be eaten alive by cursed crabs. Now they too share the curse, transforming to their true crabby form when they grow weak. Summon them with the caster, and when they transform, put them out of their misery. We'll use their salty essence to make the curse. I didn't always trust the witch doctor so, but she's never failed to haul me backside out of the brine. Once she's got her cauldron, I'm confident she can concoct a cure for our conundrum. Now place the hex caster and watch it work its magic. I Thank <laughs> you. 
want a treat? you at the beach near my hut. <sighs> but beware! Those coiled crones have given more sailors peg legs than the diamond sword dagger scissor reaps! So I might look upon their killer. Whoever you are, you handsomely mysterious murderer, you'll be joining the ranks of my undead crew once we make you dead first, that is. <laughs> Can. Old Bones is on his way! Coming for you both! 
those damned sea hags wrecked my place! Oh, Bones, good thing you showed up. It's been too long since our last adventure. Are you still a practitioner of the sea sorceress yeah. arts? Would you be asking for my help if I wasn't? <laughs> now you, drop the curse essence into the cauldron. Ah, oh, a powerful kindness you do me. A thousand thanks. Well done, witch doctor. And you, be hearty. Whatever your name or profession may be. Now to Long Bronze Skill Bear's Cave to rescue La Chance. We better get a move on. We've had a long walk, followed by a longer swim. He can swim, can't he? Bones, I'm insulted. Let me just whip up a portal for you. He never ceased to amaze. Come on. You've been with Lachance for many moons, Bones. <clears throat> Why haven't you made him your first mate for life? Tis a fair question, Witch Doctor. And after Long Bronzed Gilbert sinks to the salty deep and Lachance is free, I just might. Try to parlay. No more blood needs to be shed, unless that blood be the blood of Long Bronzed Gilbert. Parlay! Excuse me. Uh, parlay. G got a uh, parlay to get to. Just, just gonna do a quick little parlay with the captain, if, if that's all right. Parlay. Do you have an appointment? Parlay? No, I don't. That's not a problem, is it? Parlay. Uh, may I ask then, what is the nature of this proposed chat with Captain Gilbert? Parley! Need to tell him to hand over La Chance, or I'll do something terrible and violent. Parley? That seems like a threat. I thought we were parleying. Maybe learn some manners, you know? No way we're letting you in with that barbaric attitude. Damn the ancient and subtle code of parley! Pirate law protects these scallywags, so we can't just fight through! I seem to recall spending a lot of time and effort collecting curse juice or something. Would that work here? Brilliant! That just might work! Sea creatures probably aren't under the purview of pirate law. Hit them with a hexy! It worked! Look! Their characters made conspicuous by their cowardly terrific! Now, kill those few crabs! <laughs> A pirate fight, or even pirate community service. Now to finally kill that beguiling Gilbert and free my lovely Lachance. Onward! Ha! And when your 
sacrifice, I can summon my loyal crew from beyond Death Reach! It's not too late. We can still save La Chance. Kill the crew! Hold on. He's reviving his whole crew with just one soul? Part of us all! Keep up, Nelly Mel. Just how much soul energy does La Chance have anyway? Time to end this. Let's see if the witch doctor's hex does the trick. Place the caster and fire away!
bones. There's someone here who'd like to see you. Bones! Can you hear me, Bones? The chance! My love, you're... you're free! Free and waiting for you? You always come for me, Bonesy, and sure is the tide. Here you are. Oh, Lachance, but I'm a skeleton, and ye be not but ether. We can't truly be together, unless... Unless me matey here uses some sea sorcery. Me hearty, hex me. Sure, whatever floats your pirate boat. If you want to be sushi, who am I to stop you? Sure is sure. Once I'm a fearsome giant crab, I'll pop right out of me plot armor, and then ye can unmoor my ghostly spirit from my corporeal bonds. complicated sea sorcery ritual. Well, don't just stand there talking about it. Get me spirit out of here. Uh, if you please. Sure thing, Bones. Hold still. Bibbidi-ba-donga-bum! It worked! At long last, I'm free of that cursed bony prison. Oh, Bones. You're just as beautiful as the day we met. I love. When I'm with you, I'm the luckiest pirate in all the seas. I'd give up all the nautical debauchery in the world for just one more. The chance. Oh, Bones. You're a terrible scoundrel. <laughs> Yar, and don't ye forget it, love. As for you, crew. I bequeath to ye me chest of worldly plunder. We won't be needing it when we're going. Tis all yours, me hearty. Now come see us away. Tis terrible luck starting a journey without a proper send-off. say stay safe but you're both already ghosts so have fun on your voyage I guess what the voyage but where to we have no chart I don't need a map to know we're bound for adventure dearest let's get away from all this away chance away we'll go away together away chance away We'll far away go.
but this year hook in my head. And maybe something about the apothecary. Maybe we can go find some answers there. Let's go. I'm gonna tag along, but I don't want to frighten nobody, so I'm gonna be invisible. By the way, can I turn invisible? I I'm a ghost after all. Hey, let's see. sequence to open. And by we, I mean you. What with your still corporeal hands and whatnot? Hmm. Them cannons look like they're attached to the gate mechanism. Chompers chomped you good. Man! I hope I was dead before I got ate. But I just remembered something. The enchanted nose ring protected me from potion use. Well, let's go find the back door to the apothecary. And maybe we can figure out the next piece of my death puzzle. 